Hi folks and welcome to a brand new season and we are season 3 2022 and we have the F3 guide at Watkins Glen. Now a different layout for this so what we do is we show you the full pace lap first of all and then I'll be back later on to explain some info otherwise let's crack on. Right then, so that was a full pace lap, so let's show you the, uh, the info and everything. Have a look at the rules tab, it will tell you about the off-tracks and where to use them and where not to use them. Track info for you, we are using the fixed Watkins lens out, which hopefully the iRacing will be, uh, the iRacing? iRacing will be using. Track temp, 84 Fahrenheit, so fingers crossed that it should be similar to what you're finding in the race sessions. And you can see their moderate usage of 44% is what I always, always have. The lap I'm actually going to show you is a 38, uh, a 138.872. So... That is not the that is the fastest lap of the day, but we did nip into the 38s a little bit here. Low 39s, high 38s for me. Couldn't get any lower than that 38.8. I did try an awful lot. Um, yeah, unfortunately, couldn't get there. One thing I want to show you is my Discord, where the OLAP, VLAP, Tenochtitlan, and Replay file will be kept in there. Also, I have a Google Docs of the season uh, of the races in season order. I update it every season, so you can see what track guys I'm planning to do and what ones I've done in the past so you know which ones you can click on and have a look at. Otherwise, let's get into the breakdown. Right then, Watkins Glen around here in the F3, and it's a good run down into turn one, which is very, very awkward, so be careful on the first few laps, because we're breaking about the 100 meter board. Now, do not touch this curve on the inside. It's a little bit bumpy in there, so be warned and don't cut it, as I mentioned, up at the bottom of the screen. Don't run wide, because there is a bottom out warning as well, but if you do run out there, there is a slowdown as well, so be warned. The S's, be careful through here. There are always crashes, so just be as careful as you can on the first few laps when the cars are close together. Otherwise, we're getting on to kind of the back straight and it is a huge full throttle zone so this shows you how important turn one is so make sure you get it right we do have a bus stop chicane so what we are doing is around the 200 meter board just about there we start turning in and ever so graze the brakes on the way in don't cut that down into fifth gear don't cut the first two but you can cut this very last one as i do right here it is a pretty flat curve and pretty nice just be careful around here of an oversteer uh, caution because uh, the tyres are pretty toasty at the rear end and I felt they were losing grip but at a certain point there's a service road and a little hut there on the inside once you hit that on the apex you should be full throttle don't run wide there is a bottom out of the car there's a little tiny little bit of concrete you just see there just before you hit that and go over the crest down into this corner brake nice and steady nice wide entry try and cut back a bit more than what I do here and clip that apex on the inside I do miss it by a good car and a bit width and don't run wide here it is a horrible little short curb and it is quite bumpy coming down now to this section just before the 100 meter board you want to brake nice and heavy the track goes up and it's kind of cambered so you want to follow the dirty part of the track here do not touch the curb it will send you off wide and it will really be not good to so try and get on full power 
out as early as you can and don't run wide. There's no curb here, but the grass does arrive very, very quickly, so be warned. Good overtaking opportunity down in here. One of the slowest corners on the track, this one down here. So we're breaking at the 200 meter board. I think that is all 100 meter board. Can't exactly see it because the barrier's in the way, but the last one there in a way. Break all the way into the corner. You can give that curb a little cheeky tickle, but don't cut it too much. And you can run wide here, but you can bottom out the car. So just be careful of that. So bear in mind. Breaking point for the third to last corner is here. No idea where a reference point is. Kind of as I start going up the hill. Nice wide entry. Keep reducing the car speed. Be careful of the curb on the inside and be careful of a little bit of snap oversteer. And again, don't run wide just there. Really, really awkward to hit the barrier, which is not good. 100 meter board, we are per turning in absolutely flat out. First few laps will be cold tires, so be warned with that. A little bit twitchy through there for the first one or two laps. You can get a bottom out of the car on that curb, so don't run over it if you can avoid it. The sign on the left-hand side for the penultimate corner here, little dab of the brakes. You can give that curb a little tire tickle, but don't cut it too much because it is bumpy and it will push you wide into that lovely blue wall on the left-hand side. So bear that in mind as well. But that is us, done and dusted. As quick as that, it's a 138.827. So, yes, fingers crossed that we should have some good racing around here. Watkins Glen is always, always fun. Just the S's on the first few laps, just be cautious through there. There is always carnage. I don't know why, but yeah, there's always carnage through there, so be warned about that one. Otherwise, fantastic little circuit. Should be a good week. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.